Okay, hello, welcome back to our podcast. Uh, I'm Daphne. I'm Sarah. I'm Sophie. I'm Ailey. I'm Nathaniel. And today we're going to be talking about Jack the Ripper. Please. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please always do that. No. Right, okay, well we just start with a wee kind of explanation of what went down. Yeah, sounds, yeah. sounds great. Snazzy, sounds great. <laughs> okay, so... Between August and November 1888, five women were murdered and mutilated in the Whitechapel area of London. Over a, yeah, I know. Over 130 years have passed since Jack the Ripper's held a, since Jack the Ripper held a terrifying reign over the east end of London, and still we're no further fo- forward in solving the case of this mysterious cold-blooded serial killer. Dun, dun, dun. They think that there's about 12, but there's only five connected victims to Jack the Ripper. The first one is Mary Ann Nicholas, who was known as Polly. She was 43, mother of five, and the first confirmed victim by Jack the Ripper. Um, she was abandoned by her husband, and she earned her living through prostitution, like many women. And then a week later, Anna Chapman, a widow and a mother was discovered after 6 a.m. in a yard on Hanbury Street and her injuries were similar to Polly's, so she was also mutilated. But she was missing some of her internal organs, like her uterus. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Love that for her. At the end of the month, the killer would claim two more lives in one night, Elizabeth Stride, age 45, and Catherine Eddowes, age 46. The last official victim met, met her death on November 9th, 1888. Um, Mary Jean Kelly was discovered brutally mutilated in a lodging house in Miller's Court. All the residents of Whitechapel, these women lived in poverty, which left them vulnerable to predators travelling the street. Well then, <laughs> that's that. Yeah. Lovely, fun Monday morning. No lovely guy, you really want him as a neighbour. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to... Probably do, to be honest. <laughs> we're just oh. going to talk about uh, the theories as to who we think it was, and then we're going to move on to why they stopped killing, eventually. So Sarah, yeah. would you like to start with your theory? Yeah, so my theory is that Jack the Ripper wasn't actually Jack, and Jack was actually Jill. So, fun. In a I'll recent attempt in the past few years to try and solve this long lasting cold case, an Australian scientist collected DNA from letters thought of being sent by Jack the Ripper and it came to the conclusion that it was inconclusive, but they pointed signs towards it was likely coming from a woman, which seems a bit far fetched because at the time it was always a man that they were looking for. But it can actually be supported fairly well. So, for Jack the Ripper to perform these murders the way he did, he would have to have prior medical knowledge. So a lot of people started to theorise, what if, instead of a doctor, it was a midwife or possibly an abortionist, which were jobs that were particularly took up by women. So this this would support the medical and autonomy knowledge that Jack Ripper had to perform these mutilations, like stealing her uterus. So, obviously a midwife would know her uterus. <coughs> <laughs> and also, it would support how Jack was never found, because the police at the time were looking for a male killer, so if a woman was near the crime scene covered in blood, she could just say she was performing an abortion or helping with her birth, and they wouldn't suspect a thing. So that could suggest why she was able to get away unseen. Another mystery in the story was Mary Kelly, Mary Kelly, the fifth victim, was seen hours after her death in her clothes. And a lot of people said, what if Jack stole the outfit and to get away? But if a man was wearing a woman's clothes, someone would have noticed. So if a woman killer was wearing Mary Kelly's clothes out in public after she died, it would make sense why no one would suspect anything. So that was the main theory, but some people have started to find women that they think it could be. One of those women is Mary Percy. She was executed in 1890 for killing her lover's wife and child, using similar methods that Jack the Ripper used, which led people to think, what if she killed 
the five victims and also our lover's wife and child, which would support why the killing stopped because she was executed. And that's basically a theory. That made a lot more sense than I thought it was going to make yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Uh, I think I might be convinced after See, that. it makes sense, but there's some things, though. It's like, in history, there's one or two famous female serial killers, so you've got to wonder how messed up in the head was this one woman back mm. then? Mm. Like, why did she want to kill them? I know, it was a modern. I mean, if you're a psychopath. The way we're, no, the way we're never going to know. Maybe she was to the woman. Maybe. <laughs> Well, I mean, I yeah, nothing like says attraction like yeah, murder, murder, murder and mutilation. Well, people say Jack was attracted to killers. Well, maybe the women had the same motives. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 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 A party animal, one might say, and would make himself acquainted with many women. And acquainted. <laughs> well, this is a PG podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and the theory goes that he either had a child with someone or got them pregnant, and then that these women found mm. out about it either because it was a fellow prostitute or because they just happened to know. And either him or the royal family went about hiring people or doing it themselves, killing the women who knew about it. Like a hitman type thing? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe history has repeated itself now. Aye, uh, because who knows? We don't. 16. <laughs> um, no, but anyway, it's, it's a theory, but it's a strange theory. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. kind of out there. Mm-hmm. Like, it's out there, but it makes sense. It partly makes sense, but I just feel like Queen Victoria had other things on her plate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then again, I think Queen Victoria had a lot of things. Queen Victoria had dressing breathing clothes from like the day of her husband's death to like when she died. So, yeah, I don't know. Queen Victoria had a lot of things. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's not just the one thing. Yeah, it's not just the one thing. She was a lot of things. Yeah, 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 she was a lot of Slash lover slash trannaby like thingy love interest <laughs> yeah love interest. this is the spicy bit so basically there was this guy who was her roommate kind of that kind of really wanted to go with her and she was not about that but was about that like leading them on type thing if we're gonna use nowadays terms and <laughs> and the theory goes that she was Jack the Ripper but make it trendy. <laughs> she was like this prostitute who was like trying to make her money so she could hire beds for the night so that she didn't have to sleep in the streets. And then she was basically courted by this guy who was like, Just come live with me, I'll take care of you and she was like, No, I don't want anyone to take care of me, I'll do it myself. Independent. Independent. <laughs> <Feminism>. <laughs> That's the, how it started, and then eventually he convinced her to move in to one of the places, and they like moved in, but she still wasn't about that, and he would or she would bring her prostitute friends, but because he was obviously jealous, could you imagine like someone you like being a prostitute? He went about killing prostitutes to scare oh, yeah. her into not doing that anymore. So basically, he started doing the murders to make her scared to go out and then after the murder started she moved in with him so it kind of worked and then at one point they think that on the night she died either she kind of finally told him back off I'm not into you or he just got really annoyed with the whole prostitute thing and that he killed her and that's why hers was one of the most brutal killings in a way oh because he was angry that Uh, these all make so much sense that's an annoying thing that they all make sense. I know, but just like over 20 theories or something like that. Yeah, still don't know who is. It's annoying that no one's ever going to know. I know. If you're convincing the person, anything can make sense. So see it with enough conviction. Is there any yeah, true. other? Does anyone like have someone that they think in their mind is it? Like, go around the table, what theory do you think is most likely out of the ones we've mentioned? Certain of that. So Not far. to put you on the spot. <coughs> I think Jill the Ripper was the most plausible one, yeah. just because of like the whole she was literally wearing one of the murder victim's clothes, and no one suspects her thing, so mm. makes sense that she would hide behind the fact that she was a woman. 
Well, oh. I'm a strong advocate for Joel Ripper. <laughs> I'm a shooter advocate. for Joel. So, obviously, I'm going to go with Joel. Fair. See, I'm kind of hanging about Joel, but then I just think it's too circumstantial. So I'd probably go say Mary Jane's roommate slash lover person. I'm going to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but Joel Ripper makes so much sense. Yeah. I know. What can I say? I think I'm convincing. We <laughs> are. Uh, probably Jill. Jill. Yep. Jill so on the roach. Jill. So why did Jill stop? Mm-hmm. Dun dun dun. Mm-hmm. Let's let me, let me, let me, let me. Yeah, you need, you need that. <laughs> <laughs> well, very professional. I know. Yeah. Connie made some lovely notes for this. Thanks, Connie. Jack to. I'm Jack. 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 What's her name? Jack the Ripper. Okay. Get out your pods. Okay, we're just going to move on to why did Jill the Ripper, as we've came to a conclusion about that, stop killing? So theory one was that there was too many police officers or informants on patrol. So the murders reached their peak by 30th of September 1888 with the double murder of Elizabeth Stratton and Catherine Eddowes. Um, Consequently, obviously caused a huge outcry in London. Uh, The news spread like wildfire because, you know, just media can get things quickly. We're journalism, we're journalism guys, you should know about that. <laughs> <laughs> journalism. <laughs> uh, so on Friday the 5th of October 1888, the Star newspaper stated, extreme vigilance is now being exercised by the police in Whitechapel. Um, so then the whole place starts to swarm with detectives and men in uniform. It was feared that the murderer would again select a Saturday morning for another killing. Um, they knew that unless he was caught or handed they wouldn't have any evidence against him just because of previous murders and you know how good he was at getting away without being suspected. Um, the police then searched every house in the immediate area. Landlords were questioned about su- suspicious guests, any suspicious activity. It was estimated that around 500 informants were told to keep their eyes open in every corner. So basically they had like 500 spies at all times looking out for Jack or Jill the Ripper. Um, <coughs> If the Ripper was a local, they would have seen that the whole community was now watching everyone, obviously, including themselves. Uh, they may have considered it far too risky to continue their guessy deeds, so they're just like, nah, that's it, I'm done. Backing out as a serial killer, you know, because that's something you can do, just stop back being a serial a, killer. It's <laughs> like, why be a serial killer when you just stop? <laughs> I know, mm-hmm. just go back to living a nice, yeah. peaceful life. Like so, um, and, um, my theory is a bit less interesting than Daphne's actually. <laughs> Mine's is just that he or she stopped killing because they died. <laughs> which <laughs> sounds a bit blunt, but mm-hmm. if you think about it, living in East London in the late eighteen hundreds, like there was disease, there was loads of people living on the streets, malnutrition. So it it was common for people to die quite young. You know, like people were living in the slums in Whitechapel and stuff and it just wasn't ideal living conditions. So Assuming that Jack the Ripper was of the same social class as his victims, it would be fairly common that he or she would die at quite a young age and that would explain why the killing stopped so suddenly. Mm. I feel like if they die there's such like an underwhelming theory. It actually is. But it's also I can't believe that's the most I can't believe that was like I'll take that one. Because I feel like if you've killed five people at that point, <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> at that point, yeah. there's no going back. Don't turn back to a normal life. Unless it's like just, just gonna murder find around. another way to like stop getting caught. Unless they moved or something like that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just they just like pack up and leave. Like, a white oh, what? Jack the Ripper was like the Madeline McCann at the time. Like, mm-hmm. can you imagine? Just be like, everyone knows who I am. Like, except Madeline McCann wasn't yeah. a serial killer. <laughs> and they turned into a girl. But then but it just makes sense. I just wish they start, start, uh, kept killing mm. and became a bit sloppy so we could find out who they are. <laughs> they became a bit sloppy. Mm. See, there's, we're not going to get into it, but there are theories that it was another killer, but then he moved back to where he came from. H.H. Holmes or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of makes because either he died or he moved, because unless he was going through some kind of psychosis and he was just like flat out killing for the sake of killing and then was like, Oh no, whoops. Very well, so it's like it's your holiday when you can just move to the east of London and start killing. Mm-hmm. Wait, what else do you need? Maga who? 
Right, Apple, you read some. Nathaniel, do you have one? Uh, yeah, uh, if you don't like aliens, you'll hate mines because my theory is that Jack just stopped killing because. Felt like it? Uh, he's, he's got, there's <laughs> five <laughs> murders and police were everywhere. Mm. And they knew who they were, they knew what they were looking for. Well, they thought they knew. Yeah. Mm. Unless it was Jill. Yeah. I just don't say it like. And so he's been a. Big enough scare for him to stop doing it. I feel like if you're the type of person to be willing to kill five women, mutilate five women, no, that you just I feel like you really don't stop. care. I feel like mm-hmm. I feel like if you're that person, you don't really care if you're getting caught or not because mm-hmm. you're cutting up dead bodies. Like at that point, uh, it depends what type of person you're. Like this is well, not completely irrelevant, but like look how many not on. He potentially a serial killer, but he's out for attention. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you're something like that. He's obviously not, because he, he disappeared off the face of the earth after this, but... Um, but then again, it's also possible that he... Not like he was trying to do it privately, but at the time, there wasn't social media and that, so it could have um, been like, he was like, right, I'll just kill some prostitutes, you know, and weekend no job. Know. And then well, people are going to know, but they're not going to care. Yeah, because it's prostitutes. Uh, I wonder how Jack the Ripper would feel if he thought about, like, it's 2020 and people are still... Going on about it. <laughs> See, to be honest, so, like people wouldn't have even connected it or thought about it if someone didn't send a letter to the police. Yeah, and so many people think that it wasn't him that sent it because it was some rare type of paper and all that sort of stuff. Was he rolling it that he could not have to wear phones of paper? No. Yeah, well, that it was debunked my theory then. There was a jet only like 25 sheets of this paper that the letters came from made. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, so it. It's real paper, so people just think it looks like a prank. Other people did send prank letters, mm. so it could be just someone sent it as a prank. It was the first one and all that sort of stuff. So mm. I don't know. What anyway, I feel like this we've tried to come to a conclusion, but we can't. Cause, I mean, <laughs> we, we, it was God knows how many years ago, so it's not like we have any effort. Effort though. I mean, yeah. you can't really pull like DNA evidence at this no, point. No. Someone tried. Like someone found a bloody shawl and was like, "Oh yeah, this was Mary Jane's," and everyone else was like, "No, <laughs> no, <laughs> that that's not possible." <laughs> so why do you think that he stopped killing? Mm. I feel like the fact that he, I, know, I feel so. like the fact that he died as boring as it is is probably it's the most reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Because he seems a bit psychopathic, psychopathic to, to, act, to be like scared of the police. Yeah, or like, oh, I better stop that now. Like he seems like mm-hmm. he was having too much fun. Mm. That mm. makes me sound also psychotic. Yeah, I think you're Put yourself in the mind of the person you're talking about. Don't I think I would Jack the Ripper do. I'm already in that mind. <laughs> okay, say that. Do you think just flat out die? I think it'd be so. Flat out. I think it'd be so much like retribution if you tried to kill another prostitute and they were like, mm, <laughs> you thought. She had like, like a nice She one. thought. Like, she, she was not taking this man's anything. That would be iconic. That, that would be. be. That would be. Feminism in the 1800s. Was <laughs> <laughs> it the 80s, man? It was. The 80s. Well, the 80s. It just wasn't the right one. It wasn't the wrong 80s. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like we should wrap this up now. Yeah. 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 So, we've forward. discussed everything we can discuss. So if you made it this far, well done. Yeah. <laughs> we have reached yeah. the end. Yeah. The fact we did is shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this made some sense to you. Mm-hmm. Outside of all our ramblings and uh, straying from the oh, actual yeah. story and what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Yeah. But but thank you so much for listening. Yeah, thank you. It was your phone. <laughs> yeah, for thanks real. for listening. <laughs> See you in the next podcast, which will be something like Theories, potential. Yeah. It'll probably Something very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have more discussion. Got a lot of like podcasts. We're all very casting. Yeah, we're already like yes. reading the facts right now. Yeah. So, thank you. And goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>